So now let's see the flow of programs and cutting list in the shop floor. So initially the designer will design his project. So we will get the two outputs. The first one is cutting list which will go to the optimizing software of the Beamsaw that is B-Opti. So after uh, the designed okay, designs, he will optimize in the B-Opti. Usually the Spatio 3D and B-Opti are office softwares. So the designer will itself optimize the cutting list and will get the cutting, uh, cutting patterns in .xml form. This .xml format will be sent to the, sent to the shop floor to the OSI that is open circuit interface. So the beam saw will do the cutting and OSI also has a label generator. So we'll get the label. So later the edge banding operator will edge band the panels. And again, the next output is dot cx cnc programs which will be sent to b solid that is the operating system of operating system of the cnc machine so this is how the basically the flow of uh, the outputs from this spatio in the factory now let's see the flow of uh, outputs from the spatio to the beam saw and cnc so initially to generate the cnc program we will select all control a and we should go to cam and create instruction files so here to generate the cnc program for the gold machine or pdl machine for example here uh, we, we must enable bit edges because the drilling operation everything takes place after applying the edge banding so we should enable this and in this case i combined all the phase operations above lateral below a single cnc program and then coming to filters, we should disable the trimming because the cutting operation will trimming operation or cutting operation will take place in the beam saw. So I disable the trimming operation. Then click OK. So we got 36 CNC programs. So this, this will not include any back panel because back panel does not have any CNC operation. So if there is any CNC programs programs in uh, involved in the back panel, that back panel will also get included in the CNC program. So in this case, there is no operations related to back panel. So now, after we generate the CNC program, we will select all, go to prints, click on cutting list, and we allocate the grain direction. Click OK. And down now to export, we we'll click on export. So in this case, we must select it for OptiPlan for Beamsaw. We'll select and CAM preferences good. So this CAM preference must be set in the CNC while well generating the CNC program. And then click OK. So it asks a fine name. In this case, I'll just rename it as example for B solid and click OK. So our file is created. So now to see it, example for B solid. So you can see this is our cut list obtained for the active that is for beams of B-Opti. So this will be sent to the B-Opti. So this is our user interface of B-Opti. So in this go to projects, click out, click from the import from the CSV, research your file. In this case our file name is example for B-Solid and click open. So that particular CSV will be imported in B-Opti. So we have this many panels, click confirm. So this is our file imported. Now we can see all our panels are imported in the project lines. And now in this case for demo uh, for showing you I set the parameters for sector 370 that is SK370 for both 18mm and as well as 8mm. Now after setting everything I also set 5mm trim and we should click on process the project. So this will take a while so I will skip some part of this video.
so we are, this is our results for the beam socketing so these are the pattern that the b of t is giving us so once the patterns are ready we should click on this send project or transmit the project so our project will be transmitted so this will be sent to the osi that is the operating system of beam saw so this is the user interface of the beam saw that is osi so here after exporting the file on the b of t we will import it here we will go to orders right click we will click on import so here we will be able to find our files so in this case our files is example for b solid these two files and click open so our files are imported click on this and click on any one file so we have four different patterns you click any one pattern and we can see the simulation so i have taken a backup for 370 so here the machine will show the uh, demonstration how to uh, do the cutting so when the cutting takes place it also shows which part is being cutted so the green is nothing but the rotation that, that is take, that is going to take place the, the panel and here also we can see the stacking in this case we, uh, we, we are getting two stack so as we can see there is a rotation of the panel if it is blue there is no rotation we will get the final cut piece so we can also see this is the trim cut which is taking place so if it is green here that is the final cut piece we can separate it so the beam saw also has the osi label generator so after each one individual panel is cut we the soft the beam saw will generate a label which must be pasted and which will be sent to the cnc machine so now we will see the next part of the uh, flow that is importing the cnc program into b solid so if you are in LAN, you can send all the programs to the machine through LAN. So in this case, since I am using a single system, I will directly import. So these are program files. So I will import a top panel, just for an example, import. So we can see our programs are completely loaded. We will see the execution. So there are no problem so we can see the simulations here so initially i'll position the supports automatically and we can see the simulation so it also gives us a cycle time for processing that particular panel and also we can watch the simulation so if there are any errors in our program or anything the system the software will show us that the, those errors So this is the horizontal operation. So this takes place after the edge banding. So that's the reason why like, uh, exporting the program from Pageo, I selected with the edge banding. So this is basically the flow of outputs in the slash U to the beam saw, then to the board. That is the CNC. So now let's see the simulation in Echo 2.1 machine. The procedure is still same as we imported in the gold machine the, so we can click on this import or if you have bar barcode scanner after sending the program to the machine we can directly scan so that program will be loaded in the work list so now to show the simulation we can just right click on this import so for example this is the same folder we are using the example for vsolid file so in that we can open any one particular file for example if i want to open this file click on import So after importing we can notice that there is no error in the programs without any error so so we should check the execution before uh, actual simulation so there is no problem with the execution of the program so now we can see the machine machine so click on the simulation and we can process the simulation so now it will show the actual time for processing the this individual panel so we we'll switch it to front view and we will reduce the visibility and click on the play simulation so here we can see the panel will be in the vertical orientation with the grippers holding it so we have two grippers here and this machine will support uh, horizontal vertical drilling and also grooving along horizontal direction and also routing operation 
so this is echo 2.1 the procedure is same as of the gold machine but here we can process uh, one one pan at a time in vertical orientation 